Welcome to Holy Cross's worship on Sunday, January the 10th, 2021. It is a real blessing to be able to join you in worship, this worship that has been pre recorded in Holy Cross's worship space as we remain closed for in person worship during this time, COVID 19 pandemic. We pray that you are well and all those whom you love are well also. Thank you to Patty for being our assisting minister and Susan for being our musician. Jean for being our reader, Andrew for being our projection. You taught us that whoever has two coats can share with those who have none. We ask your blessing on the gifts which we offer and that you multiply so that no one needs to go without basic necessities and all may thrive in your love. Amen. We confess our sins before God and one another. God of light, you light a fire within us and ask us to shine. We are quick to hide and make ex We shrink from challenges, avoid responsibility, and deny the goodness of your creation. We seek hollow praise and then don't believe it. Forgive us for hiding our God-given light and remaining self-absorbed. Children of God, never fear. You have always lived in the mercy of your Creator. Hear the words of absolution and believe them. You are forgiven. You are made whole. You are restored. God. Alleluia. Amen. challenged your people to repent. Move us also to put aside the things that get in the way of truly serving you for the sake of Jesus our Savior. Amen. A reading from Luke. In the 15th year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip, ruler of the region of Acheria, Jaconitis, Messanius, ruler of Abilene, during the high priest of Annas and Caiaphas. The word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it was written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? 
bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able to pass from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked him, What then shall we do? In reply he said to them, As two coats must share with anyone who has none. Whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than the amount prescribed to you. Soldiers also asked him, And we, and what should we do? He said to them, Do not extort money from anyone by threats of false accusation, and be satisfied with your wages. As the people were filled with expectation, were all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah. John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the throng of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Winnowing fork is in his hand, clear his threshing floor, gather the wheat into his granary. With the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So, with many other exhortations, he proclaimed the good news to the people. But Herod the ruler, who had not been rebuked by him because of Herodias, his brother's wife, and because of all the evil things that Herod had done, added to them all by shutting up John in prison. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened. And the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. You invite us to open our hearts to your message of transfer transformation, but it is still up to us to do so. Give us courage to take the plunge into a life of service with all its surprises and challenges. God of power, hear our prayer. Show us how to serve you in our jobs, responsibilities, and leisure so that our daily lives reflect the restored relationship which we have with you. God of power, hear our prayer. Your creative might could raise children from stones. Teach us to regard all that you have made with awe and likewise to care for it with diligence and love. God of power, hear our prayer. Not every disease or ailment is visible, nor is sickness always a physical experience. Heal those things which plague our minds and spirits as well as our bodies, and restore us to wholeness in you. 
be with those whose names we bring before you today. Aiden, Alex, all healthcare workers, all in Halton and around the world living with COVID-19. Aster, Cal, Carol, Carolyn, Celeste, Colleen, Daniel M, Danielle, David and Diane, Frida, Hedda, Ingo and Sandra, Irene and Brooke, Janice and Sheila, Jarlene, Jesse, Lori and Ed, Marg, Mickey, Natalie, Neil, Ray, Regini, Richard, Rose and Herman, the self-employed who are facing the stress of severely reduced income as the virus impacts their business, Shelley, the unemployed and underemployed, Valerie, the nation of the United States, and all whom we hold in our hearts. God of power, hear our prayer. With all your saints, we praise you in this life and the next, remembering the amazing things you have done for us. God of power, hear our prayer. We pray for Michael, our bishop, Susan, our national bishop, the Reverend Conrad Plummer, president of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Guyana, the Right Reverend Sani Ibrahim Azar, Bishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land, and the Right Reverend Susan Bell, Bishop of the Diocese of Niagara. May their ministries open the hearts of those they meet. We pray for Linda and Bill Keenbaum and Patty and John Ikes and their ministries through Holy Cross. May their faith and actions inspire us to continue moving forward, opening the hearts of all whom we meet. Receive our prayers and shed light on our path as we seek to walk in your ways and bring glory to your, to your Son, Jesus. Amen. Holy God, light of the universe, teacher of truth, giver of goodness, we hear your word in the scripture, proclaiming to us your wisdom and inviting us to follow your call. For speaking this word, we thank you, O God. Your word came among us in Jesus, our brother, who preached your righteousness, healed the sick, and revived the brokenhearted. For giving us this word, we worship you, O God. By your Spirit, bless all who receive this word, that upheld in the mystery of the body of Christ, we may be light for the world, revealing the brilliance of your Son. For sustaining us with your word, we praise you, O God. Blessed are you, holy God, around us, with us, and in us now and forever. Amen. O oh God, you have baptized us with water so that our sins could be washed away by the flowing of your mercy. We long to gather with gladness and gratitude around your table, that we might be fed for our journeys and renewed for whatever challenges lie ahead. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. 
At the end of January, we are going to have a season of healing begins. There will be healing prayers offered in each of the three weeks for the season. Also, there will be an opportunity for you to receive some holy oil so that you can complete the anointing for healing yourself, or if there is someone else within your family bubble who could anoint you, then uh, they can do that. Please do contact me, email me, um, and let me know if you would like some holy oil delivered, and we'll make the arrangements so that you can get that. If you don't wish to have the holy oil, that's fine too. There will be... Uh, an option for prayer during that time for healing as well. So, if you'd like the oil, please do let me know. God, the Creator, strengthen you. Jesus, the Beloved, fill you. And the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, keep you in peace. Amen. Peace of Christ be with you always.